This is a review of the Meat 1.5 Horsepower Meat Grinder. This is a beast of a grinder. It may be the best in class. Now let's take a look and find out why this just might be your huckleberry. Meet your maker, also known as Meat, is part of the American Outdoor Brands Inc., formerly known as Smith & Wesson Holding Corporation. Now their business model is to direct market their products, cutting out the middleman. They have the distinction of having the industry's only limited lifetime warranty. As long as you don't misuse or abuse your meat maker products, they should be covered by the warranty. Meat your maker products are commercial grade. So why does it say that they're for home use only? Well, it has not undergone the rigorous and very expensive certification for commercial food service equipment. They wouldn't be able to sell this equipment at such competitive prices if they were marketing to the food service industry. Now this unit starts with the number 32 grinder coupled to a one and a half horsepower motor. The grinder size has to do with the diameter of the grinding plate. The number 32 size plate is about 3 and 7 8 inches in diameter and you can compare this to a number 12 grinding plate at 2 and 3 quarter inches. Now as you can see the number 32 is much much larger than the number 12. The meat 1.5 horsepower grinders rated up to 18 pounds of ground meat per minute. Now this grinder comes in at 70.5 pounds. The grinder weighs about 46 pounds by itself. The rest of the weight comes from the auger, the grinding plates, the tray, the grinding knife, and the other accessories. All the metal accessories are made from stainless steel. They are dishwasher safe. The auger bushing and the tubes and the stomper are not metal and should never be washed in the dishwasher. Now the items included with the one and a half horsepower grinder are the grinding head, the hopper tray, the stomper, the auger, 4.5 millimeter coarse grinding plate, 10 millimeter fine grinding plate, the grinding knife, which is the blade, the front locking ring, the stuffing plate, and three stuffing tubes. You may also be interested to know that it has a small drawer for storage at the bottom of the grinder. The motor has a switch that controls forward, stop, and reverse. This unit is equipped with circuit breaker, a reset button if you will. The detachable accessory should be washed before using. To assemble, start the grinder head into the grinder gear housing with the throat facing upward and then tighten the locking knob clockwise. I like to add a little food grade lubricant. Now you could use food grade mineral oil or food grade silicone, but for home use, I'm more comfortable just using ordinary cooking spray. Mineral oil is a petroleum distillate and silicone is a polymer. So I'll take my chances with that cooking spray. Now, of course, the grinder has moving parts, metal to metal. The meat will lubricate things while you're processing, but a dry start, it's metal to metal, and a little lubrication before starting should help to maintain your equipment. Now, these detachable parts should be chilled in the freezer for at least 30 minutes before using. Insert the auger and make sure that the auger bushing is in place. Place the cutting blade on the auger, flat side facing the front. Place the grinding plate on the auger shaft, making sure the notch is seated over the corresponding protrusion at the bottom of the grinder head. Now, screw the front locking ring in place firmly, but do not over tighten by jamming. Now, put the hopper in place. The meat should be chilled in the freezer for about 30 minutes before you start. Now I'm grinding a brisket that I cut into long strips. Now I know that's not the ideal way. Smaller pieces would be better, but this is designed to highlight the capabilities of this grinder. And as you can see, the grinder pulls the meat right through and it grinds faster than I can feed it. Next, I'm grinding a deboned pork butt. Man, that was quick. Now that meat tray comes with a guard that I was sure I was gonna hate, but to my surprise, it wasn't near as bad as what I anticipated. That second grind, when you go to the 10 millimeter grinding plate, now it's gonna go slower than the coarse grind, but this is a giant step up from my old number 12 grinder. It's much faster. For cleanup, you rinse off the detachable parts and into the dishwasher with anything that's stainless. The bottom line, if you're looking for an upgrade to your meat processing equipment, then I recommend that you consider the one and a half horsepower meat grinder from Meet Your Maker. Commercial grade, limited lifetime warranty, 
This may be the last meat grinder that you'll ever need to buy. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.